Hello and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. Now today I'm going to have a look at a puzzle we've been meaning to have, have a look at for a while called Square Roots, which appears on the puzzle page of Saturday's Times newspaper. And um, this is this week's. Um, so what I'm going to do first is mention that I don't think we can make this available to you um, on our Sudoku application, I'm afraid. So it wouldn't take long, though, to uh, copy down the grid and the clues here. Now, the rules, very important these. So what you have to do is put the words into the grid so that you can trace them out in um, moves, if you like, orthogonal moves. So there's no diagonals. So you could write C-A-P-T-A-I-N. However, it's very important to know that you can use a cell more than once in a word, including backtracking into a cell you've just used. So one of the words is living, and that could go um, L-I, L-I-V, and then back to the same square for the I. Um, double letters, as it says in the rules down here, must use adjacent cells. Now, the key rule is at the bottom. Each of the words starts in a coloured cell, and all the vowels are shown by asterisks. So the squares with stars in are vowels, and the others are consonants. Um, so the list of words we have to fit in this week is Captain General, Post, Free, Living, Will, and Scarlet. There's always a bit of a theme going on with these words, and this week took me a few moments to work out, but... I think it's a chain. You can use each pair of words to make a phrase. Captain General, General Post, Post Free, Free Living, Living Will and Will Scarlet. So that doesn't really matter, but uh, let's see how we would go about fitting these in. So the coloured cells are the starts. Now, first of all, checking they're all different letters. So um, obviously there are seven coloured cells for these words. And, very importantly, the asterisked cells are the vowels. Sorry, I got interrupted there. But, so we're looking at vowel combinations. And AI must go either in this pair or in this threesome here. The same is true for the EE -E in free. And that's quite interesting. But it doesn't really get us very far. Now, what is worth noticing is that there's a square, a starting square down here that does not have a vowel next to it. And that, therefore, must be either for the word free or for scarlet. Um, free is quite possible, F-R-E-E. -E. Or, but actually Scarlet's quite appealing because S-C-A up there would allow, or C-A up there, would allow the beginning of Captain as well. Um, now, is there an entirely logical way to go around starting this? Oh, look, there's another square there. So one of these squares is either is S and one of them is F. So, free and scarlet must begin in those two squares. Now, the other words are captain, general, post, living, and will. So, this square must continue up here, whatever it is. Hmm. If this was free, it would, be, it would have to be like this to have the two E's next to each other. Um, then if this was scarlet, I mean, this is very plausible because S-C-A, and then this could be the A-I of captain. I mean, I think this is very likely to be right. It's not a scientific way of going about it, but it does look like it will give a good answer. So, we start by putting... Captain, I'm not going to put the N in because it could be there or there. 
Um, Scarlet would need the R to be here. Ah, no, that doesn't work. Okay, but Captain could go up instead of down. Captain and Scarlet could go down. No, that doesn't work either. Hmm. Well, I mean, the other possibility that I haven't considered is, even if free is right at the top, is that Scarlet could come out to the right from the S. But I don't think that works because R would have to be here or here. And R doesn't begin any of the words. So that's not possible. So, let's see if I've just missed an option. Of course, we could have A there. And then R can't be L there, can it? Could be for living. Yeah, that is possible. Okay. Scarlet going there. Then living would have to be like this. And that would give us a GE start. For general, obviously, I would have to go and would be there. The scarlet would finish off there. Now that looks quite good for Captain, doesn't it? So we'd have the P there, A I there. So we've got Captain done. We've got General started, but hang on, General can't finish now. Ah. Oh. Really onto it there. Living, so we'd only have will to put in. I mean, this feels like it's awfully close. General. Ah, oh, well, the captain could come back from the A, so it could be like that. So. As appealing as that N was to be both in general and captain, maybe not. But still, we can't make general work. Captain. Wow. I'm really so. Oh, we haven't got post going anywhere. Oh, okay, that's been a bit of a disaster. So if, we, if Captain had been there, post would come down here. So here we would have Scarlet, Captain, not General, that's the problem. Post, Free, Living, and Will, and Scarlet. So it's got everything except General. Ah, and General does work, because what I'd forgotten was that I can go back on the E. G E N E R A L. So it was kind of a case of sticking with it there because um, it looked so good in some ways and I didn't want to give up on the possibility. Um, obviously, the alternative had this just not worked at all was to put free in down here and then scarlet up here in some way, and that would have probably given us a chance. But there we go. That's the completion of that square roots puzzle. Um, obviously, this is slightly suited to my speculative method of having a bit of a punt and seeing if something works and erasing it and trying again if it doesn't. I think they're quite interesting puzzles. If there's a much clearer um, logical route through that. I obviously didn't see it, but do feel free to point it out if you did. Um, if you like these puzzles, let us know, because there's one in the Times every week. We can do more of them. Thank you very much, though, for watching. Thank you if you've shown interest in our new app coming out, and um, certainly if you've subscribed to us on Patreon, um, or indeed just subscribed to the YouTube channel. We're very grateful for all of the above. Um, nice to see you and see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye now.